Hello, everybody. This is Michael Savage. I'm uh, live on Periscope. I'm just going to do a little, um, I don't know, a little meditation for America today. It's the end of a long weekend. Many people are uh, still traveling holidays. Today, you're not going to see me. You're just going to see a candle. And you'll hear my voice, the voice that God gave me. I'm going to read from my book, God, Faith, and Reason, for a reason. And the reason is obvious, because I'm a man alone. That's simple. And as uh, it was written, if I'm not for myself, who will be? If I'm only for myself, who am I? So you got to be for yourself up to a point. And I want to read something. This is shorty. It's going to be a short one. This is page 141 of God, Faith, and Reason. It's called An Unlikely Choice. Many people believe that Trump winning this election by hook or by crook had God's hand involved in it. Does that mean Trump is a prophet? No. But God saved America at the last minute. He saved us as sure as I am sitting here from this bunch of atheistic anti-American vermin who have tried to destroy this nation from within. Sometimes God chooses odd people to do his bidding. Look at the story of his choosing Moses. He said, Moses, I'm choosing you. You're the chosen one to lead your people. Moses replied, oh, come on, don't pick on me. I don't want to do this. I can't do it. I stutter. I'm not good looking. I have a bad face. My skin is no good. No, pick someone else. And God said to Moses, that's why I'm choosing you, because you are imperfect. When you consider that and then you look within yourself, you realize that you also can be chosen for things on this earth. No matter how humble you may be, you could be chosen to do something great. You may have already experienced that. You see, the people who are chosen by God or by fate or by destiny to do wonderful things often don't even know they've been chosen to do them. I've told these stories before and they resonate in me at times. But I really believe that America can be saved. I think we're seeing only the beginning of the salvation. I believe that once the rats are forced out of the White House, once the rats are purged from the media, it will be clearer. Make no mistake about it. The vermin behind the rats that you see in the media, they're businessmen and businesswomen at the end of the day. If they see that because of the left-wing fanaticism, their listenership or viewership has collapsed, which it hasn't yet, they're going to start reaching out to people on the other side. You see, they've been spitting on you, the deplorables. They said you're nobody, you're nothing. You're not them. You don't watch their TV shows. You don't buy their movies. But they found out that you do exist. At some point, the boards of directors of the media giants are going to begin talking to you with respect. Probably within 2018, you're going to see a new network evolve. And then voices like Michael Savage will be heard across the land in a new format you will start to hear voices like mine. They will start appearing in the most unexpected outlets you could ever imagine. The only reason is that the rats behind the scenes are business people. And all they look at is the bottom line. One last quote from God, Faith, and Reason from Jeremiah. They are become as well-fed horses, lusty stallions. Everyone nayeth after his neighbor's wife. Shall I not punish for these things, saith the Lord, and shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this. That's it for today. Maybe tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. But for now, it's Michael Savage saying, thank you for listening to my meditation on America. And good night.